Sorry, guys. I this is like my second time doing this. Sorry if uh, if you see my face and my mouth isn't moving. Yes, that is the right thing. Just spam me in the chat. That's excellent. Um, yeah, <laughs> sorry, guys. Uh, anyways, I was just talking about the name of uh, my delivery driver, and that's inappropriate somehow. So, uh, Amanda, <laughs> how are you doing? Are you there in the backstage chat room right now? Uh, yes, I am. Hello. Yes, you are. Hello. How's it going? Hi. Uh, yes, I am. Hello. This is trippy. I can hear myself in two places. <laughs> <laughs> well, hopefully the the people in the audience, quote unquote audience, hear you in only one place. Um, <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> awesome. Are you all set to go over there? I am. Yep. I'll start streaming whenever you all are ready. All right. Hit that button. All right, thank you. You betcha. Just a little delay on my end there. It's all good. Hit that button. The button. Pop up. Hey, guys. Hey guys. Hello. Hi. Hi everyone. Hey guys. Okay, well my name's Amanda Laprie. Uh I am uh very happy to be playing the show. Thank you all very much. Um so uh I am in a band called Descendants of Erdrich. Um and I actually learned one of our songs for you all uh to do solo. And I did this and I thought to myself, what is, why, why am I doing this to myself? Because it's very difficult to play this on acoustic. But I went ahead and I learned uh, part of our act raiser arrangement uh, to do for you guys here this evening. Um, so I'm going to do that right now. Let's go ahead and get some, some act raiser done. And uh, we'll continue with, oh yeah, that's uh that is part of my desktop. Let's, uh, let's, okay. All right. I'm nervous. What's up, everyone? <laughs> okay, here we go.
I gotta tune this guitar real quick. Thank you so much. I have my, uh, my, this is my tuner. It's my phone. My tuner is my phone. Um, and thank you all again for spending the, the, the time that you have in your, uh, social isolation here with us and with me right now. It's much appreciated. Oh my god. See, I did this. And then right before you perform, usually that's when all the stuff happens, right? Okay. Alright, so I'm gonna do uh, some original music. It's uh, based off of video games mostly. Uh, I do have some new Chrono Trigger songs that uh, use uh, songs from the OST. I'll be getting into those in a bit. Um, and uh, cool, uh, this next song is called Forest of Error. <laughs> recognize this next song.
very much i'm kind of looking at chat a little bit um y'all are great people in my channel um do exclamation point show and then go to that other uh twitch um channel it says bonus stage van go there because there's lots of people chatting there thank you all very much uh my name is amanda laprie i write songs about video games and i always have ever since i started writing songs i just hadn't found my right people yet and you all are the right people so speaking of i am writing some new stuff i'm, tr I'm writing a new album it's taking a long time and it is based on music from chrono trigger and so i'm gonna play a few of those
Thank you all very much. Thank you guys. This is this is great. Um, so I performed at Magfest in uh, 2018, and I had made these these tracks um, for that show. And I actually feel really good about today because I'm in like a controlled environment where hey, I'm testing all this stuff, and I know it works because it's here in my room. I don't need to go like take it on a plane and go somewhere where oh my god something might not work um well i'm already kind of going through that sort of some equipment was giving me some trouble earlier but we're here i've got these songs I i've got some cool little images from the games y'all are here and i am so happy that y'all are here right now i got a tune i use my phone to tune See, some of these new songs have some tunings that are different, and it's hard for me to remember what strings were what and how I did not change them between songs. All right. Okay, so this is actually a brand new one. I haven't performed this one. Um, well, I have performed it live, but it's mostly just been here in Austin. Um, at venues, but I haven't really done this one for the internet before like this. This is a new one called Judgment. It's based off of uh, the music from The Trial in Chrono Trigger.
Thank you guys so much. If anyone is in my channel, uh, go to uh, twitch.tv slash bonus stage van. I'm going to um, create a link. And in that way, you can join the chat with other people. Uh, thank you guys very much. I'm sorry. I'm like looking in a million directions. Hey, guys. Um, yeah, thank you. That one's new. Um, I kind of have these songs just like auto playing so uh okay um so i did a cover of some music from the lunar series a couple of years ago um and i really really like the song it's the intro music to the sega cd lunar the silver star um it was really really difficult actually doing this song um because it's very fast like the song itself is just flying um, and the phrasing of the lyrics are weird, so I, I did, I did my own thing with it, and, um, I'm, I'm really excited about it. Uh, this, this also features a, a bass part from Thad, Thad Stevens from Descendants of Erdrich. Uh, his bass is on the recording. Thank you guys very much. That was from uh, a Lunar, the Silver Star. I've never played that version of the game before. It's the Sega CD intro music. Um, woo! Yeah, okay, I've got a few more. Uh, thank you again to um, Bonus Stage for putting this on. Uh, it's a fantastic idea. Uh, the other acts earlier were amazing. Um, and Stemage is next after me. Um, he is uh, of Metroid Metal. Uh, so we're going to change it up a little bit here and um, play a song called uh, Slay the Dragon.
Thank you. Thanks, guys. All right, I got a question for chat. Well, first of all, there's two chats, and I'm trying to pay attention to both of them. Uh, there's the main chat, which, by the way, if you're in my channel, go to this link. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm interrupting the, the mood. Um, <laughs> so this link that I just posted in my chat, if you click on that link... You guys go to a separate chat room with a lot of people, and this is where the show is happening. So I have a question for you all. Could you tell me where that image was from and where that sound clip was from? What movie? Oops. I have a song playing, auto-playing. I'll, I'll come there. Yes! Bram Stoker's Dracula. My channel got it before bonus stages chat. Yep. 1992, Bram Stoker's Dracula. Um, nobody wins a prize. I'm sorry. I don't, I don't have a prize. <laughs> I was just curious. That's such a good scene, though. That, uh, that, uh, the intro scene to that movie is so good. Uh, more music is the prize. Yes. So I'm back, uh, to doing some, some music from Chrono Trigger. This is based off of, um, Silent Light and The End of Time. And the song is called Vortex. Oh my god, someone in um, Volvatron, Volvatron, you got that reference as, uh, as well. It is also an audio clip from an Iced Earth song. You guys are awesome. Man, you guys know, you guys know all my references. Okay, this song is called Vortex.
recorded them officially yet i have little like demo versions but they're for an upcoming album i haven't finished writing the album so uh um i will soon soon oh my god this is a song with a crazy tuning i've got another chrono trigger one for you and this one is actually very difficult for me to do live How riveting is this? I am just tuning my guitar for hundreds of people. Thank you again to Bonus Stage for uh, for putting this on. Um, uh, Mikhail uh, was amazing. Doug Perry, 88-bit. Lauren the flute. And up next after me is Stemage from Metroid Metal. Um, he's not just in Metroid Metal, but that is one of his bands. Alright, that's just gonna have to do. I'll fix it on the fly. Alright, this next song is called Trigger Point. A shout out to everyone. Hi, Texas Yankee.
guys very much. That song is called Trigger Point, and that one sounds tough. All right, I got one more, and I don't know if I have time for it, but it's a special song, because this next song, I had a guest guitar player for my album, Beneath the Forest of Error, and that guest guitar player was Stemage, and so I thought it was fitting for me to do this song. Except my tuner isn't really helping me very much right now. Again, thank you guys very much. If you're in my channel, Amanda Laprie, go over to twitch.tv slash, uh, .tv slash bonus stage van. And there is a, a chat room there. But you can also just stay in my channel as well. And uh, bonus, bonus stage van. I'm, I'm watching y'all. I'm trying to keep up with you. <laughs> See, if I didn't have to tune for like 50 years between songs, this would be much smoother. So this, this song is on the one album that I have. Uh, it's called Beneath the Forest of Error. It's eight years old. It's too old. I need a new album. Uh, this is the last song on the CD. Um, and the album is, is kind of loosely based around Dante's Inferno. Um, so this is the, um, the, the, the final circle of hell, um, I guess you'd like to call it. So, uh, let's do it. <laughs> Get a guitar tech. <laughs> yes, I agree.
again bonus stage for putting this on. If you're in my channel, um, thanks again. I'm actually gonna sign off here in just a bit. It was just a short show. Um, join the bonus stage channel and I'll be in there. Uh, thanks you all very much. I appreciate it. And thank I you, really, Amanda. I really, want to check out Stemage, so you all stick around and let's... Oh, I just cut her off. <laughs> oh, Amanda, are you going to come around to the backstage and have a little chit-chat with me? That was an uh, amazing set. Holy cow. I, I feel redundant saying that everybody's sets are amazing, but that's just the level of standard that we're experiencing, isn't it, you guys? Uh, oh, I see you in there. Hi, Amanda. Hi. <laughs> Holy cow. I had to make sure my phone was unmuted. Definitely. <laughs> let me get uh, Let me get my J my jpeg your jpeg up there it's a fine jpeg and i only speak to the finest of jpegs <laughs> of course it's oh not a gif it's a not a gif. gif no we don't have a graphics card in our computer no now, do no we? no there's no graphics no oh my gosh speaking of computers you use your quite regularly over on your own twitch channel do you not yes i do um yeah i've got a twitch channel i I'm basically replaying games that I've always wanted to replay, but there's an entire way to do it online now, so that's what I'm doing. Yeah, and that's the best experience too, like getting to play the games that you want to play and also have other people kind of like enjoy that. Like watching yes. people play games, I, I don't know. I always thought that was just something I did when my brothers were <laughs> holding the yes, controllers. Yes, I would do that with my brother. We would we, I would just watch him play and it's more like, it's it's a skill. I had no idea it was going to be a skill. It's like you got to watch your chat room at the same time and, uh, you know, make it look pretty okay in your room. You got to get your lighting and your sound and... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a whole thing. <laughs> yeah, it definitely is a production. I'm definitely um, learning that. Holy cow. Um, mm -hmm. Amazing guitar playing. Um, I actually started playing VGM on acoustic as well, and so I really uh, loved watching your technique and just the, the sound that was coming out of it. Um, but you also play well, electric quite, uh, quite often, don't you? Yeah, I don't really ever play video game covers on acoustic because it's just too damn hard it's really I'm, hard i'm more of like you know like a, when i write songs I, I like to use as many open strings and and chords as i can and, and like even like doing that act razor song i was like whoa okay this is not the same it feels way different um and yeah like i i applaud you for for wanting to do it <laughs> <laughs> thanks some people well, are extremely good oh uh, well, i, I uh, stopped doing, doing video it. game music on on acoustic i i will stick to my electric guitar <laughs> yeah definitely all the action is so much easier um yeah and uh and what where should we be sending people to support you directly like what what's your favorite avenue for that um i guess twitch or twitter is mm -hmm. fine. Um, fine. I have a band camp also, and that has like um, stuff that I haven't officially released to uh, to places like Spotify. So I have mm. like some some video game music cover albums up there that I did years ago. I have demos on Bandcamp, um, so that's kind of the best place to get just music in general from from me if you don't want to wait for me to release something officially which usually takes me a long time <laughs> yeah i feel you there too and i'll just yeah. put your um you give me a paypal.me link that i'll post there as well and um yeah that's awesome well we're right up against seven o'clock here so i think we're gonna switch on over to stemage um uh, before we do that um again thank you amanda so much for being part of this show and we'd love to have you or descendants of eric Drake again that was amazing absolutely <laughs> thank you so much you bet have a good one and right. uh, see you in Bye. the chat um, I'll see ya <laughs>